Hello guys, today I'm going to show you solving how to solve the one of the biggest error issue with the Wireshack. Um, it does happen many times when the Wireshack cannot load the libraries from the right path or has any issue with uh, loading these <coughs> libraries files, okay? So let's go to our uh, Linux. And before actually I show you how to solve it, I want to show you this. So the error looks like this Wireshark error while uploading shared libraries and this one okay cannot sh open shared object file or no such file or directory that's the one of the biggest problem and as we know the Wireshark is very important tool so we have to fix it how we fix it let's just clear the screen uh, before we actually um, fix it because we know we have to know which library is missing and uh, to be able to find uh, which library is missing actually the problem it's it's showed in the error error says that uh, this one cannot find uh, it cannot be found so this one is missing so we are going to now check the library um, how we're gonna do this we're gonna write ldd space slash user slash uh, binary or bin whatever it is uh, slash Wireshark After we write this and We're gonna look back in the error. So it was showing that was the problem, right? It was the main issue. So we're gonna look for this one here after we find or it says that it's not Found sorry, you will not be able to find it if you have that error, of course And I'm going to show you now how to fix this error. Let's just clear this again and to be able to able to fix this guys follow me what I'm gonna write I'm gonna write sudo so let's write sudo let's be sure that we're uh, we're giving command as a root uh, strip uh, space dash dash re remove uh, dash section it's gonna be a bit long command guys so follow uh, section and equal section equal dot note uh, again um, yeah a b i sorry and after a b i dash tag space now uh, slash user slash library slash x86 underscore now 64 dash uh, linux Dash G N U graphical something and uh, the, the G N U and after this slash library and we're gonna write now capital Q T five core um, dot S O dot five so it works fine guys it works fine. And now let's let's now check it out if the Wireshark works. Wireshark, as we can see, that Wireshark opened successfully, so it works. Um, for the people who is not familiar how, with the Wireshark or doesn't know how to use it, guys, Wireshark is used by the network administrators or network specialists uh, people. Who are actually analyzing, monitoring the network's packets, um, analyze it's for analyzing the packets, and as you know that in our um, in our network devices, when they send information or whenever they want to do something um, on a browser, they are sending uh, packets, TCP and UDP packets, throughout the network within the network and in these packets um, everything is stored what is everything everything is like passwords a message anything is stored of course if it's HTTP if the website is a uh, browser request HTTP then we can actually sniff the data we can see that what what is actually user sending because it's not encrypted but if it's HTTPS, we're not able to do this. So actually, let me show you some 
um, example. <clears throat> okay, first let's scan the, our network, uh, see that which con uh, devices are connected. Uh, to be able to do that, actually, to, uh, let's just uh, check the uh, IP address of our network. I have config. And okay. Guys, as you see that my ATH0, I connected to internet uh, with the wire, external wireless adapter. It's USB. Why? Because it's it's the best way to uh, do such attacks in, a, let's say, in a coffee shop or anywhere outside. Um, why? Because it's it's um, you can you can inject you can inject any code or you can use many tools with this USB adapter to sniff the data or capture the data to, uh, within the network. It's much easier and stronger actually. And just it's the best way to do this. Okay, let's now scan our network. Net discover R and R is the range. So and let's copy this. Copy this. To be able to copy this uh, anything on the terminal, guys, you just select it and then Control Shift C and then Control Shift uh, V Y. Sorry, V. Sorry. And uh, then interface view WLAN zero. Okay. Okay, as you can see that now, uh, these devices are connected to internet. Okay, uh, this is my Samsung uh, mobile phone. And the problem that the why the IP address is not shown is because now it's actually disconnected. If I reconnect it again and control C V and then start again, we will be able to see, see that um, the IP address of the mobile phone. And yeah, that was it, guys. Thank you. If you um, if it really worked for you, I would appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. You don't have to, but <laughs> thank you so much if you do that. And yes, the Wireshark works. Okay, let's just capture any data. And sorry, guys, before we do that, actually, we're going to uh, select WLAN 0 because we are using the external wireless adapter. And we're going to use this to capture the data, uh, capture the packets. After we select it, choose this one capture start capturing and yes we can actually wait as you can see that my Samsung device is connected to the internet and ARP I as I said in my previous video ARP is, is stands for the address resolution protocol this is like uh, let's say device A is sending information to device B sending uh, in this packet ARP packet it's device A is asking um, who has 216 and this is the IP address tell give it give the information back to Samsung again to the, the device A and then the device B is answering back with the same same uh, method that's amazing, guys. If you would like to learn how to use the wireless and other uh, real hacking or network uh, security um, methods or uh, tools, let me know in the comment section. I will really be happy to teach you these things. It's very interesting.